spike from the grassy high She had a baby when she was real young Her best friend is a skinhead chick She knows an Asian boy named Yick Caitlin, she is very chic But I am still in love with a girl named Spike A girl named Spike And I am still in love with that girl named Spike You're listening to the I'm in love with a girl named Spike The Grassy Podcast I'm your host, Mike Park Along with my co-host, Hannah Eagle Hello and Rick Johnson. Hello. We are on part two of Time Stand Still. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. I found myself actually almost tearing up on this mm. episode. Um, Me too. What is what episode is this on our on for us? Is this one fifty? Are we at one fifty now? That seems, seems seminal. Seems we, yeah, we're on one fifty. This is wow. Happy one hundred and fifty. That seems like a time that and I got a. I got a little confetti can and I could blow. Yeah, do it, please. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I I really want, I'm going to instruct her to blow it out of Radich's mouth. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, so, so from last week's episode till this week, I listened to that song by Rush and it's a good song. It's a weird look because it's the 80s and I don't remember Rush looking like that, but Amy Mann from Till Tuesday sings on this and love amy man i'm surprised i didn't know the song so um that was a cool thing that i learned i'm learning i'm trying to learn and i could hear hannah in the background looking for the confetti, confetti guns so let's listen to some rush time stands still can you hear that yeah the video is them with a green screen like a ocean or river lake background i have a question yeah do you think that neil kurt looks like the drummer for the pixies a little bit mm -hmm. no, I, I love not really i, I thought like they did i don't <laughs> what a Gosh. waste of time yeah oh let's hear amy man's part real quick so she sings the hook i didn't know that she was canadian, canadian? Oh, I love Amy Man. Man, Getty Lee is not an attractive man. Neither am I, but I shouldn't judge anybody. I'm terrible. I'm a terrible person. Hannah, how does this episode start? Do you have your headphones on? Uh, I do. <laughs> I'm hearing you, Mike. Coming to you live from Mr. Radage's mouth. Whoa. Um, whoa. Um, Rick has lost his mind he's gone yes. insane um and he decides to go back to school with his gun covered in mustard covered in feathers in his grandfather's suit <laughs> i have to assume <laughs> that he was buried in watching that bag <sighs> and the thing is bag. i guess this was like i guess now we're just in a very like school shootery mindset but to me if he comes back to school covered in mustard with his backpack like that, I'm going home. <laughs> I, I also feel like I could be wrong. I've never been in this situation before. Yeah, right. But somebody would show compassion towards him. Like yeah. a teacher. I mean, this is might be looking into it too much. Well, that was like, Toby. Well, no one even tried. No yeah, one went everyone was him. just laughing. Toby the teachers tried. didn't. Well, the teachers didn't even look for him. Or I think somebody should have been like, "Hey, just so you know, Rick came back to school, still covered in mustard." Yeah. Well, this is all happening right now. We're in real yes. time. What do you We're think is time. the the time between when he gets covered in mustard and he comes back to school? Do you think it's 30, like 10, 30, 30 minutes tops? That still seems so like he, enough time. He, he must he must live pretty close. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I also would somebody like Snake would have been on it you know what i mean he wouldn't have just sat by and like allowed him to leave i feel like snake, yeah snake is a good teacher he is seems like he dropped the ball seems like a lot of people drop the ball yeah all right that's why when he so, gets so high and mighty later i'm like you didn't talk to him either radich radich has uh is, is talking to the different classes via the television monitors and what's disappointing is the smirk on Alex's face while he's almost not quite laughing, but ready to laugh. 
<laughs> Mr. Raj also says one of my favorite things he's ever said, which is, of all the years I've been at Degrassi, I've never been more embarrassed to be a part of this school. <laughs> <laughs> which hey. Degrassi, no context, just posted that, and I was like, God, that's funny. Oh, under his watch, um, a lot has happened that he is <laughs> at fault for, I feel like. Yeah, 100%. Radich is the problem. All right. He's been a, he's been principal for a long time too, wasn't he? He was principal at the end of high, correct? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. And a lot of stuff happened then too. A lot of similar stuff. Claude that's happens they, under Radich, right? That's yeah. why they promoted him. <laughs> Do you remember Spinner giving the chef's kiss while they're playing basketball? He and Jimmy. Yeah. Hannah. Um. Yes, I do. I love his tongue piercing too. It's making him talk real weird. I'm a fan of it. Did you have a tongue piercing, either of you? No. No. You did? No. I did no. not. No. 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 I can't imagine letting anyone put a hole through my tongue <laughs> <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> I have I have slight beef with this interaction between oh. well the fight between Spinner and Jimmy. Is that? Do tell. Do tell. Yeah. Jimmy would have pummeled Spinner. Ooh, yeah. Trap. So either, either Jimmy was just holding back. He had to have been holding back. Yeah. Well, Spinner's got a piercing in his tongue. He gives, gives him extra. <laughs> Did you put powers. it as Wiener? Did you put it on <laughs> purpose? <laughs> <laughs> This is this is a good find though. I think they there's no extras. These are there's no stunt people, and yeah, they it's they make it believable. Fight. Do you yeah. think that do you think that basketball would have hurt when he uh, hit yeah. him with it? Yeah. How can a basketball hurt? I, I also, guess if you I weren't looking hate, for it. Yeah. Well, I, okay. I hate I hate Spinner's sweatshirt so much. I hate Maybe cut off with his sweatshirt. Oh yeah, it's hideous. It's one of the worst things he's ever worn, and that's saying something. But if you push the basketball like this, but Jimmy holds it like this. Or, uh, no, Spinner holds it like this and hits him with Can like... you explain what you're doing? So the, oh, the, the non-video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the listeners at home, I'm pretending to hold a basketball and throwing it upwards with my hands. Because he because it has two hands on it. I mean, we don't need to dissect it, I guess, but... Right. Oh, so where are they playing basketball? Is it just the parking lot? They're just bop, dribbling a ball? I, I didn't felt see like a they were in, or a net. They're in gym, aren't they? Because Armstrong is yeah, there. They're yeah. outside. They're outside. Yeah, it must be... I don't know. Also, I want to just get this out, out of the way now. The B-plot, we're just not going to talk about. We're just going to say the following. Caitlin buys Joey's home from Sydney. And well, Joey's can't not stay happy. out of it. She doesn't. She makes a deal to buy the house because later Joey is like, "You do." <laughs> so you bought a house. You bought. You couldn't stay out of my business, could you? I'm like, man, I don't understand why he's so. I'd be so stoked yeah. if my partner, my rich enough, famous girlfriend, yeah, bought my made house. enough money to just on a whim buy my three hundred seventy five thousand dollar house. And I think. In the scene where he's really complaining about it, having just come off of like the school shooting, I'm like, oh, he's got some nerve to be upset that his hot, rich girlfriend bought his house. Exactly. Amen, sister Hannah. Sister Hannah. The well, I don't want to. That's why I don't want to talk about Joey must, and Caitlin again. The, the mustard that remains on Rick's glasses is so is so terrifying. God, I know. That is like how you know he he has truly he's yeah. truly lost it. Clutching the bag and that just that mustard is like <laughs> man. And it maybe it is paint, but thinking it's mustard makes it even scarier to me. <laughs> Agreed. One last addition to the B plot. Just to you, you said we weren't allowed to talk about I know, it. I know, I know. Just, just to reconfirm, Stacy Mystician's hair is, is amazing. Great. She looks, she looks so great. Amazing. I love her. I love her. She's my friend, real life friend. We're oh, real, life real life friends. friends. <laughs> it's crazy. I can't, I can't believe it happened. Yeah. How did it happen? She. Why? Why did she ask me to be in her video? I was yeah. in her workout video. Why didn't she ask me? Why didn't she uh, ask me? 
because um, dreams do come true. They can happen to you. Yeah, effless, effless celebrity right here. Someone told me I look like John Pine. <laughs> oh my god! I was like, what the? "Well, thank you." <laughs> R.I.P. R.I.P. John Pine. Okay, Hannah, let's take it from <laughs> cafeteria. Paige and Rick, go. Um. Uh. Rick is walking through the halls, deciding who the first person he's going to shoot is. It's not funny. Um. But that's what he's doing. And he says later, well, anyway, um, so he goes up to Paige and he's like, um, I don't know what he says to her, but she goes, hey, I know we're not best friends. She does, he doesn't say anything to her. He just walks yeah. in. And she, she's like, she shows compassion. Yeah. She's yeah. like, but I thought that was really childish. Uh, and he <laughs> slowly puts the gun back in his bag. Yeah. And, <laughs> At that point, he is done. He is he is cooled. That's down. right. Yeah, he's Paige almost so, yeah stops a school shooting just by being herself. That's true. I didn't even think about that, Rick. My gosh, because he yeah, puts the bag in his locker and yeah, he's like, yeah. yeah, it's all it's all Spinner and Jay. My God, yeah, I cannot believe that happened. I cannot believe. First of all, I can it, believe it. I, I can, can, I can believe it. I can believe it. But like I I cannot believe that pushed him over the edge to it was shocking to me that like these two people that were just bullying the shit out of you, you're just gonna take it at face value to you know yeah. t- take it so far that you were going to murder somebody, you know? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I I, think, yeah, I guess I, one's not in the right mind, but yeah. yeah. I could see the ri- I mean, it happens all the time, so why not? It I happens guess. all the time, it's, especially yeah. in this country, the United States of yes, America. True. My gosh. There was a point I felt like every day there's a new mass shooting. That's yeah. true. That's been coming up on my TikTok more lately is uh, people like hiding with their phones during shootings. I'm like, I don't need to be saying this at 3 a.m. Yeah, no. My my TikTok's just angry Karens. I don't know how. I get those too, but I love those. Yeah, I love those too. Wait, Rick, you're on TikTok? Yeah, but I'm only on TikTok. My my follow I follow you and Hannah and my friend Ryan. That's. A real, a real Wiley selection. Yeah. Why didn't you uh, enter my contest for free stickers? Oh man, on I should have. I should have. You saw, you saw that one. Yeah, that one was good. That was so hard to pick. There were some good comments. Who got Isn't it? That int- I actually, I was going to pick five winners. I picked fourteen. Whoa! Wow. Why fourteen? Why did you stop at fourteen? Because I thought, man, this is going to get a little expensive sending all these <laughs> stickers out. <laughs> but there's such good good comments. I just can't, I, I just could not stop. I was in a giving mood. I, uh, that was last night, by the way. So, okay. Let's get back. Hannah, you keep getting us off track. Please stop it. We are now at the locker, and Jimmy and Rick are talking. Hannah, what's happening? What's um, happening here? Wait, no, so, no, no, let's go back though. No. Let's go say, back. Really let's go back. Stuff. We can't we can't jump there. We can't jump there. First we are in the bathroom. Yeah. And Rick is impossible to mistake for any other person in that stall because his shoes are covered in mustard. <laughs> um and Jay and Spinner like hatch this so That's all Jay. Yeah, it's all 100% yeah. Jay. I guess you're right. Uh, that they can blame Jimmy for. Well, he, basically, they're they're yeah. They say I can't believe Jimmy was the mastermind behind all of this, acting like he was Rick's friend. Terrible. It's Terrible. like how could Jimmy have masterminded that? So at this point, Jay is the worst person in Degrassi history. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah. Yeah, he's not a great guy. I he, wish I had watched this so I could talk to Mike LaBell about how it feels to be the worst person in Degrassi history. 
I mean, he, he, yeah. There's always questions when you interview somebody that you totally regret not asking. There's so yeah. many yeah. Mike LaBelle questions. I feel like, what happened? Why didn't we ask? We had, we had too much synth talk. Mm -hmm. He enjoyed the synth talk. Yeah. He did. That, there's, that, one, that, there's, there's one thing I, that people that like synth like to talk about. It's synth. Not synths. Did I tell you I sent LaBelle and his his partner, his fiance, uh, a, a gift package? Yeah, I saw. I saw he uh, he uh, was wearing the Asian man shirt. He was very happy. He said his uh, fiance was very happy too. That makes That's me awesome. happy. That's what I'm going to do now. Anytime, anytime we have a guest, I'm going to send him a care package. Wow, I'll send I him. Should, I'll send him. I'll send him a sin. <laughs> Mike LaBelle, you're uh -oh. getting a sin. If you, what if, what how if, happy would you be? He, would he be if you actually did send him a synth? Oh man, that would be wild. Should I? A free synth? <laughs> if you have one, an extra one that you can give up. I have a lot of synthesizers. What's going I on? I, I got his address. If you want to send it, yeah, email me. Maybe it'll get okay. weird. Yeah, let's get weird, bro. I'll send him something weird too. Weird and weird and uh, special to me. <laughs> Just, I was about to say something so inappropriate. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll stop there. <laughs> The the plant, but if you think about Jay's everything he says, he's he's such a good dick actor. Like he is so like Spinner so dumb, he would not. There's no way in the world he would have figured something yeah. so devious no. out. He doesn't even figure it out halfway through it happening. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "What do you mean, bro?" <laughs> I like but Jay like you know taps him on the shoulder and like points to the feathers in the sink and he's like yeah the trail oh. of mustard leading to one <laughs> of the there there had to have been like mustard footprints going into that bathroom at that point <laughs> don't you think someone at the school would be like there's mustard footprints everywhere and what happened but, and no but again is, this is all present happening. this is happening yeah yes. Toby notices as soon as Rick comes in, though, and is like, no one would blame you for not being here. And Toby should have said something, too. I guess yeah. it's no one's responsibility, but still. Yeah, but he's not here. No one knows he's here to kill. He's not here to kill. They're just <sighs> thinking, oh, man, he's back. Why is he back? And the teachers can't say, go home. We don't want you here. So they yeah, don't they can. you. Yeah, they can. I guess, I guess they can, but they don't know like, he's going to kill you gotta do. All you got to do is be like, Rick, come with me. Let's... Let's call your mom. Let's get you. Well, he could. He could. He could also just say no. And anyway. Uh, also, we didn't talk about it last week, but when Rick gets home, <laughs> he comes into his house and he goes, "Mother, father." <laughs> yeah, very Norman Bates. Very I Norman like, Bates. Oh, it's like literally Carrie. Did did <laughs> does anyone did anyone watch Big Love? Uh, I didn't. I tried to. St I started watching it, and I, I didn't finish. One of the one of the wife's kids always calls them mother, like mother. <laughs> it's like Ooh. that's so a red, weird. That's a red flag. <laughs> yeah, red flag. Jimmy. Now we can go. Jimmy and Rick at the locker, and Jimmy says, "You know what? What happened? That's very like." You feel for Jimmy because he's he's the he's been so cool to Rick under these yeah. circumstances. He also is and, doing the thing that everybody should have been doing to Rick. You know what I mean? Being being nice about a fucked up situation. Yeah. Which kids just unfortunately that doesn't yeah. happen in real life. Also, everywhere during this entire episode, anywhere Rick is walking, just if you like, just look at the extras and. There's Everyone is just looking at him. Yeah, yeah. there's just, a there's a great extra in this episode, but it comes later. Okay. Even at the beginning when he walks in, there's two people are wearing those do rags and they're like doing a little chicken dance. As yeah. He by. That's like, the moment I was like, this school's not nice. This is not a fun place to be. Yeah. No. Well, Rad it's Radish has made Rick. a uh, hellscape for all these children. Radish is messed up big time. But the acting is so good in this episode. Everyone I'm gets gonna, brought their A game, yeah. Quick tangent, and I want to I don't want to hang on it too long. Because I was watching this episode, I wanted to watch the um Drake video with Rick in it. Yeah. And Rick obviously he's wearing a wig to look like this era Rick. 
He looks exactly the same in that oh, video. It's amazing. It's amazing. Back, back to to this episode. Just Jimmy's look when he sees the gun start to come out of the the backpack. It's just like what the mm-hmm. yeah. I it's like. Ugh. I Ugh. also feel like Jimmy fucked up a little bit by not trying to overpower Rick. Yeah, I understand oh, that. Uh, that's in true. The situation, the instinct would be to run. Yeah, but Jimmy is is strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> but, but who you know? Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Yeah, when you yeah, have a, yeah, someone sure, has a gun. Sure. But, I mean, I, again, I've never been in this situation. <laughs> the look on Jimmy's face as he's backing up and just decides, okay, I'm going to run for it, and then just the, the hand of Rick holding the gun, shaking, and then just people running. Yeah. And now we have the attention of Emma. Wow. She starts to walk down the hallway. Yeah. Yeah, and then Craig finds Craig, Jimmy. Craig's the there. This must have been an insane... And I also had the thought, I was like, Craig's only at school because... Joey. He's mad at she, Joey. Yeah. And I was like, well, imagine if that had happened. And then I was like, when people are watching this like live at, as it aired... That must have been insane. Yeah. Yeah. So it's Emma, Sean, and Toby. And Sean's like, let's go. And Rick's like, <laughs> he just yells something like, don't turn your back on me. Yeah. And he is pissed. He wants to kill Emma for yeah. now. That's the one that pisses me off the most because she didn't yeah. do anything. Well, he yeah. says, he says, you know, you were flirting with me, Emma. He says that while he's about to kill Yes, her. yes. Yeah. Rick, yeah. if he had never met Terry and had just quietly graduated, would have become a serial killer. <laughs> true. One, one has to true. assume. Yes, true. Man, so I, Sean, Sean, Sean did it. Sean, 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 Sean the hero. This is, his yeah. is so good too. This is his redemption for deafening oh, that kid. This made me so sad for Sean. Okay, if you also have a chance to watch this again during this interaction, just look at Jake Goldsby Toby's face. He's just looking at the gun the entire time. It's uh, it's pretty uh, intense. Hey, Mike, tilt your phone up a little bit. Oh, am I getting cut off? Yeah, just a little bit. Sorry about that. It's all good. That's your phone camera? Yeah. Wow, pretty use, good. You, use your computer? I do now, so I can do the backgrounds. I can't do that. Oh. Very, very rich. I forgot. I'm uh, I forgot, pretty rich. I forgot the wealth. <laughs> the wealth. The wealth of Hannah Eagle. Mm-hmm. You're throwing me off, off the track. <laughs> I, wanna... I didn't bring up the phone. Rick did. <laughs> uh, they're wrestling for the gun. Toby says, stop. Yeah. And then yeah. bang. Mm-hmm. I feel like one quick punch to the face and Rick would have been down for the count. Mm-hmm. You know? He's got a lot of adrenaline going through his body, coursing through every vein. He just killed somebody, or so he thinks. Yeah, Yeah, because he says, I can't go back now. I already shot somebody. Yeah. He should have just blown his brains out, like, right in front of everybody. I'm terrible. What is my my problem? Oh, my God. (laughs) I thought that is how this was going to go. Like, when he is like, you flirted with me. And then he pointed the gun at Emma, and I was like, oh. I did not believe that that was going to happen. Mm-hmm. So you thought for sure he was just going to blow his brains out? Yeah. Yeah. I also, thought so Emma, too when Emma, I originally watched this. Emma, two murder scares in three years. Yeah. What was the other murder scare? I can't remember. The catfish. The catfish. <gasps> the catfish. And would, it, would he have murdered her? Who knows? There should, yeah. There's been a lot of time, times Emma has been um, where she shouldn't be. <laughs> yeah. In a dangerous place. Oh, boy. But again, when I watched this, I got teary-eyed. I can't. I, I was yeah. just like, what is going on? I've seen this episode so many times, and I was kind of freaking I, out. I think we're, like, more invested maybe now. Yeah. Uh-huh. But great, great episode. One of my favorites. The chaos is happening. Yeah, police. 
firemen, paramedics, everybody's coming. And Ashley's why is Ashley's mom first on the scene? Because Toby, she's oh, Toby's, Toby's involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah Toby's yeah. involved. Yeah. You think Man. she really cares about Toby, though? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Do you think so, though? Really? <laughs> yeah. I was kind of wondering why she was able to go through the... And I watched this with Brittany, and she was like, that makes no sense. They would not well, send a parent um, yeah. into an active school shooting investigated building. They also... <laughs> if if you're going to let one parent in, you got to let the other parent in, like, Joey, all, when Joey <laughs> arrives. All the other parents are like, mm, my kid's in there, too. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Why does Caitlin suddenly get like respect when she's like Caitlin Ryan? Like puts on her like <laughs> <No>. work badge. <laughs> she, and she just had that in her back pocket, you know. Yeah. And I like that Caitlin got the call before Joey got a call, but maybe Joey doesn't. Well, no, Joey. She probably got the call. Well, a Joey can't afford a cell phone anymore. <laughs> yeah. Damn. He had to sell his cell phone. He, I feel like the news would totally get that call before the parents, you know? Right, yeah. yeah. Is that even later on, the news yeah. is like telling kids stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that also, this, this hey, fight. Hey, 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 stop, stop. I got to say this before, and I'm going to just make sure Hannah agrees with me. Stacy Mystician, that little scene, her acting is horrible. Everyone when is she's yelling at the press. Off. No, she, her and Joey are sitting on the bench yeah. and she's drinking coffee. She's like, oh, no, there's been a shooting at Degrassi. Oh, oh. And I was like, oh, Stacey. I thought, yeah, Caitlin. I thought, I we got to get to were... Degrassi right now. <laughs> the green screen starts moving. <laughs> <laughs> sorry okay. to interrupt you. What were you going to say? I'm so sorry. The fight okay, between... Really Snake and Radich is amazing. Yeah, when he tries cool. to Chef's kiss, when he tries to put Snake in his place by calling him Archie, mm-hmm. I was like, "Fuck that guy!" Oh. Like, this is this is you are going to get fired yeah. over this Radich. This is not Degrassi high anymore. And also, it's crazy that okay, uh, uh, Spike is there. Yeah. 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 And then Radich and Snake are just having this conversation in front of both Emma and Spike. Like Yeah. And Spike just says, Could we have this conversation like <laughs> later? Or not at all? Spike is acting her ass off. <laughs> yep, she really was. She was. She does pretty good. Oh Spike. wait, if they cut to the front of the school also, that's where the extra I was thinking of is. It's a okay. kid in a fedora. <laughs> With glasses and a little haircut. I know about that kid. Yeah. You you know? I want to yeah. know. He runs out of school. school. <laughs> My, the, the best thing that happens in this episode, by far, is when they come back out. Like, so Joey's got Craig and Caitlin's walking down. And that other newscaster is, like, going hard at both, like, everybody. And then Caitlin just fucking slaps the shit out of that camera to move it out of the way. Just like, get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Mm-hmm. It's so violent. Her fight I with that it. press lady is pretty yeah. fun. <laughs> Miss, is it? Is Miss So... What's her? I can't. I don't... Miss Color New York. Miss Sauve. She comes in. Well, first, they, they didn't know exactly what's going on. They're, the school's in lockdown, and they notice Jimmy's not at his desk. Well, Hazel Miss, notices Jimmy is not. Yeah, his Hazel face. notices it. And then when Miss Sauve comes in and says, you know, Hazel, can I speak with you? She knows something's up. That, again, another brilliance of acting by Hazel. Mm-hmm. Very believable, very emotional. She's like, where's this acting right? been? Where's yeah. it been? Well, she well, doesn't have any, she hasn't gotten any meaty roles. You're right. You're right. This is her chance to show the the emotions. Her butterfly shirt sucks, though. It's like these sequin butterflies. I know. What an outfit to be wearing to get that news in. <sighs> and so, I'll, when they cut to those yeah. kids in that classroom, too, they have no idea. No. They're like, is it a bomb threat? or? I feel, like, I, I feel like Paige's mom would have texted her that there's an mm-hmm. active shooter. Yeah. Do you think somewhere Terry is just watching the news being like, Terry doesn't remember anything. She was in a coma. Remember? 
Terry doesn't remember Degrassi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so those poor kids at th- school. <laughs> what do you think is going through the minds of Spinner, Jay, and Alex? Well, Jay is just like, give me, don't be a fucking rat. Mm-hmm. Spinner, Spinner is losing it. Spinner's lost it. He knows yeah. what happened. Alex is like, I can't believe I'm dating this guy. I'm a lesbian. <laughs> this I was guy in the, I was, who caused a school shooting. Moments ago, I was in the rafters with a bucket of mustard and some feathers. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm, I'm an accomplice to a straight up murder. How oh could a bucket God. of mustard and feathers go so wrong? Uh, I think I'm trying to known. remember like future they episodes. Known. They should have oh, known. I see, I see Fedora Boy. I see Wasn't him. That good? Yeah, that was good. I love they that should, kid. Yeah, they should have known. They've all seen Carrie. Nothing good happens when you do this. Well, she had this supernatural the, powers. The human version of Carrie. Yeah. And also, Carrie didn't deserve it. Carrie did not deserve it. Poor Carrie. Did you ever see the remake of Carrie? It's not yeah. good. I loved it. It's so stupid really and crazy. Who plays, yeah. Who plays Carrie? It's the the girl that one girl. Chloe Grace Moretz is yeah. Carrie and Julianne. There's actually two remakes, I think, but Julianne Moore as that crazy mom. Oh. Julianne Moore is the crazy mom. Yeah, and at one point a neighbor wow. comes over. I mean, I'm gonna go out on a sidetrack, but at one point a neighbor comes over and she's so uncomfortable talking to anyone. She's digging a needle into her leg. I screamed. Cool. Anyway, I think that movie's fun. Has anyone seen the American Psycho re- 2? American Psycho 2? Two. Two? Yeah. No. With Mila Kunis. Very loose uh, <laughs> connection to the first <laughs> one. <laughs> I was like, this is a sequel? Yeah. This is just a crazy girl. Yeah, she murders somebody with a condom. Yeah. Oh. It felt like a sleepaway camp movie. That's oh, what it felt like to me. Definitely. Paige is comforting Hazel. Both in tears. Spinner walks into the doorway. He is in tears. Does mm-hmm. he? Does he say him. anything? Is is, they, or is he just? They, they have to know because that that look that Paige gives Spinner is like, get, get out of here, psycho. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. So Spinner had when Spinner was like, he was my best friend, and then Jay said. Either way, it was. Either yeah. way, it was your best friend. Either way, you, either true. way, you chop chop it. Yeah. Uh, so don't rat on us. Yeah, this. Is... I think Spinner went directly to Radich and had it told him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the screenshot for next episode has any indication of what's going to happen, I'm. Uh, I don't even remember what the screenshot is. It's just Spinner looking real distraught. This is when Spinner. Uh, Takes the the road, the dark road. All right. You start uh, using heroin. I, uh, no, I just think this is when everyone's like, "You're not a good guy," because, which he's not. He has not no. never been. Yeah. the The question I have is, why is Ashley, Toby, and and Ashley's mom with the Nelson family? Yeah, that's weird. Yes, that's super weird. I said the same thing. They have never met. This isn't like the town that dreaded sundown. We don't have to all be at one house. Yeah. It's over. Spike again, just acting. Man. No no lines. When Toby just storms out of the house. (laughs) And Emma says, that was his friend. I was like, none of these parents are going to go get this kid. No, this is not. They don't care. (laughs) (laughs) Nobody approaches any kids in this show. No. Nobody's going to, this kid's just going to be on the mean streets of Toronto. Do you think also, Art, like, Snake thinks about the fact that he's the one that found Claude? And he never brought that up either, Claude. Yeah. Claude. I really thought he was going to bring that up. Yeah, I mean, he should have used that in the Radich fight. That's what I'm saying. Everyone is watching the, everyone. What's Radich's first name? Damn. Uh, Mr. Raditz, do you remember when I found that kid in the bathroom, you fucking asshole? Yeah, exactly. That You were principal then, too. And then I saved this girl from drowning moments later. <laughs> exactly. And, like, the fact that also, like... And I just had cancer. Um, Spike says, 
these kind of things just don't happen at Degrassi. And I'm like, <laughs> they already did. <laughs> they already did. Your baby daddy jumped off a bridge. Exactly. This is an expensive episode. Every this is like um like if uh, Endgame or Infinity War, it seems like everyone's in this episode. So yeah. when everyone's watching the news and they're going to like house to house, this is the Degrassi Endgame. <laughs> it's it's. Do you uh, think it's appropriate everyone. for Angela to be watching this news? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're probably right. I, I was about to say otherwise, but oh, another sad moment that was really really sad is when the reporter's like how do you feel about your friend that died and he's like he died that was so sad sorry tobes sorry tobes oh boy it's a hard life for tobes so there's a vigil outside of degrassi and emma and toby are both crying and it just freeze frames on them embracing and heavy episode uh, obviously, we try to find humor in these episodes, and in, well, I try yeah. to find humor in everyday life, in every instance. But this is this was some emotional stuff I experienced in real life at age fifty-one, and I'm not afraid or ashamed to say it. Hannah, I wish you felt the same. I wish you had the same compassion that I have. <laughs> I wish so too. I really do. So that's it. We are done with part two of Time Stand Still. And it it moves. I mean, the next episode is amazing, too. So I'm, I'm excited to speak to you all next week. But until then, have a blessed day, whatever you may be doing. Bye-bye. A blessed Bye. day. <laughs>